come in. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Honey, um, I just came in to tell you that I'm gonna, I'm going off to the market uh, when I'm on my way home with your sister. Would you like me to pick you up anything? Um, I'm good. Are you sure? Last, last chance to ask. No, really. I'm fine. All right. It's your call. I'll be back in about an hour. Okay. see this. See what? Just get over here. What is, what, is, I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what I'm supposed to be looking at. I don't want to tell you. You have to see it first. Well, something tells me it's not a good whatever I have to see, so just tell me, then I can brace myself. You'll never be able to brace yourself whether I tell you or not. Well, what do you need to show me? Something's wrong with you. With your mom and your sister. Well, what, what's wrong with them? They're, they're what? <laughs> Let's just put it this way. I'm the only family you have left. You mean? They go, yeah. But don't worry, we'll stick together. <laughs> we'll stick together. But what's wrong with mom and... Mom and, and Melody, they're, they're no longer with us. What do you mean? They're dead and I'm sorry. <sighs> Cheyenne, Cheyenne, huh, huh. Melody, are you okay? Are you okay? You and Mom okay? Yeah, of course. I mean, at least I am. Although, I, I started on my diet a week ago. I was hoping that I looked better than okay. No, no, you don't understand. What do I understand? You and Mom, something happened to you. Well, it must be something good, because... Wait, what are we talking about? Nothing, nothing. What did you need me for? I woke you up because you were sleeping when Mom and I got back, so we had to make dinner without you. Wait, I've been asleep for three hours? Mm-hmm. Come on, come eat dinner. I'm really not that hungry. But you love Mom, Ziti. It's your favorite. Yeah, I know. I just don't feel like eating. Are you going to go on a crash diet just to look as good as me and, my, me and Mom? Melody, I'm serious. I, I just don't want to eat right now. Just wrap some up for me, okay? Okay. It's your call. Why do people keep saying that? <sighs> Mom? Oh, hi, honey. Dinner will be ready soon. Where's your sister? Uh, she doesn't want to eat. She doesn't want to eat? Is she all right? I don't know. She's acting really weird. I'm really concerned about her, Mom. Well, honey, I think it's sweet that you want to look out for your sister. Well, she looks out for me. I might as well return the love, right? Honey, what did your sister say to you? She just said she wasn't hungry. And then she said that she was glad you and I were okay. Of course we're okay. I better go talk to her. You, um, start dinner without me. Um, okay. Looks like I'm eating alone tonight. In. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Dinner's just about ready. I'm not hungry. Sweetie, is there something you want to talk about? What would I want to talk about? Well, honey, um, I don't know. Your sister's very concerned about you. 
She doesn't have to be. I should be the one concerned about both of you. Why, honey? Well, if I tell you, you're just going to get upset. Well, I'll risk it. Now talk. It's just, um, I... You what? Uh, did you fail a test or something? What? Well, um... <sighs> Cheyenne, you can tell... You know you can tell me anything. You know that, right? Yeah. But this is one thing that's so awkward to talk about. Oh, honey, did you get your... No! Not that. I... <clears throat> nothing. Well, if nothing's wrong, why don't you want to eat? I'm just not hungry, that's all. But honey, you eat my ziti even when you're not hungry. I know, but I just don't feel like eating right now. Did somebody make fun of you or something? No, it's nothing like that. I just, just go, please. <sighs> all right. You let me know if you change your mind. I'll, sa I'll save some in the oven for you. Thanks. I really wish you would tell me what's bothering you. Nothing is bothering me. Really? Hi, right, Cheyenne. Hi. Right. I can't tell her. Man. Hey. Nyla, what are you doing here? What kind of greeting is that? How about hi, Nyla? Nice to see you. I'm, I'm sorry, but what are you doing here? <sighs> Your mom and sister are worried about you. They asked me to come over to talk to you. There's nothing really to talk about, Nyla. Well, there has to be if, if your mom is so concerned and your sister's concerned about you. They said something's bothering you, but you won't tell them what it is. There's nothing bothering me. I told them that. Come on. Your family has known you forever. Well, your family? Yes, but I haven't known you for very long. I mean, we're just cousins, and I only, I know, you don't have to get into that. <sighs> Cheyenne, what's going on? If you can't tell, tell me what's wrong, or your mom, or your sister what's wrong, who are you going to tell? Well, I guess I could tell you. I'm not worried about you. Well, that's great, I guess. So go ahead, talk. What's going on? I had a nightmare. A nightmare? You weren't even sleeping when I walked in. No, I mean earlier. I took a nap when Mom left to get Melody, and I fell asleep, and I had this horrible dream that Something bad happened to Melody and Addie. Addie? My mom? Oh, yeah. Well, what could have happened? I don't know. In the dream, you came rushing in saying that mom and Addie were, were dead. And, oh my gosh, it was so scary. Well, I'm sorry I had a bad nap, but it was only a dream. I know. But I've never had a dream like this before. Okay, maybe not, but that's what it was. Just a bad dream. Melody and your mom are fine. I know. I'm just afraid to get close to them. What are you talking about? They're your family. I know, but what I mean is, what if I get along so well with them, and then when they, if they die or something happens to them, then I'm going to be even more upset than I would if we didn't get along. You're confusing me. You know what? I'm confusing myself right now. Well, if you're so worried about this dream that I had, why don't you just talk to Mom and Melody about it? I can't. Why? Because I don't want to upset them. But you know you could tell your mom anything. I even tell your mom everything, and I don't even know her that well. Don't be afraid to talk to them. Maybe I will. I mean, it has to be better than me sitting here dealing with this by myself. I'm going to leave so you can have some private time with your family. Thanks, Nyla. You're welcome. Now relax, and I want you to eat tonight. I'll eat as soon as I'm done talking to Mom and Melody, I promise. Okay. I'll call you tonight. 
Okay. Okay, it was nothing. Hey guys, can I talk to you? Oh honey, we would love that. Have a seat. And turn the TV off. So what's up? Yeah, what's up? I'll leave so you and mom can go. No, Melody, I want you to stay too. Okay? So what you do? I didn't do anything, Melody. I know, mom's going to yell at you in private later. No, this, what I have to tell you has nothing to do with, with me being in trouble about something. Well, then what's wrong? I just, I had a nightmare that something happened to both of you. Like what? I, I don't know. In my dream, Nyla rushed in my room, in our room to wake me up and said that you and mom were in the living room and something bad happened to you. Well, what happened to us, honey? That's just it. I don't know. What if something happens to you? You mean you're this out of sorts and this upset because of a dream you had? I know it sounds pathetic, but yeah. Well, sweetie, you see that we're fine, don't you? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. We're just glad that you're okay. And believe me, I'm glad that you guys are okay. Well, honey, you know you could talk to us about anything. And it was just a bad dream. We're fine. Yeah, I know. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. What is it? Do you have any more ZD left? <laughs> I think I can make it happen. Come on, I'll go heat you up some. Thanks. Cheyenne? Hmm. Um, thanks for telling us. I know it was hard and I'm sorry I had a bad dream. It's okay. It's turning over with. I feel a lot better now. I'm glad.